And we are back. Welcome back. Today what I want to do is introduce a new game that I created on practicemarketmaking.com. It's a market making game. I call it Roman's Market Making Game inspired by trading prep. This is going to allow you to practice as a market participant buying and selling at a bid or offer price or setting a mid price and a spread as a market maker. So I made this all in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which was kind of a nightmare, but it's hosted on GitHub pages. It's all open source. I will leave a link to the website. You can check it out, mobile or computer browser. And you can also check out the GitHub with all of the code. But the way that it works is actually pretty simple. There are three dies and you will have hidden values for each dice and there will be some bid and offer as a market participant and using this incomplete information you have to determine whether or not you're going to buy or sell and then you're going to have some sort of realized outcome and PL that you accumulate over time if you're a market maker things get a little more interesting you set mid and a spread and then market participants are going to buy and sell at your bid and offer you're going to accumulate a PL and a spread that is collected, but it may not be perfectly balanced. So every realization, you may, if you set mid terribly, have a terribly outsized proportion of buys to sells, in which case you may not collect any spread and you may realize a loss. Or if you have a perfectly balanced set of buys and sells, you may in fact just collect the spread and remain risk neutral. So this is a fun game to essentially practice market making. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Every 15 seconds, you're going to get a new bid offer and a new set of values, and then it's going to realize the previous set. So let's play this round. We see three, we see two hidden values. I'm gonna compute an expectation of 10 in my head. We have a bid and an offer, we can buy at 10. I will buy one at 10. And here I realize a loss. So the realization was six, I lost $4. So I could play this again, 13, offer 12, I'll buy 10 at 12. I have a slight edge and here I actually make money. The realization was 16, my PL is 40. There is no cap to the quantity. This is simply a tool for you to practice. So if you want to do an increment of 10, if you want to manage your risk differently, then you may do so. So let's play another round here. So I got an expected value of 13 and a half. It uh, looks like the bid and offer has been set to 18. So this is just a clear sell and we accumulate some PNL. So the bid and offer is going to reset every instance randomly. That was extremely unlikely to see in 1818. But here we have three and five. I'm gonna buy on the five. I'm going to accumulate some more PL, 3.7, that's a very clear buy. So on and so forth. So, you know, you get the hang of this after playing it for a while. I would like to eventually release more difficulties where I can condition on the observed values and center the randomness about the values that have been seen. That's going to make it more difficult to compute the edge in your head and determine whether or not you're going to buy or sell or if you're going to take any action at all. So let's look at making a market now. We've acted as a market participant. Let's look at making a market. So here we have an expected value of 11 and a half. I'm going to set it to, let's say 12 and have a one point spread. You can see that we had a hundred at the offer 12 and a half. Fortunately, it went down and we had a realized PL of 350, but otherwise we would have been outsized here entirely because we didn't sell anything. So that was a terrible market to make. So if we were to make a more accurate market that's not in balance, let's take a look at this. We have what looks like five and a half here. So I'll make five and a half and then we get 50-50. So we have a balanced bid offer and here we just collect the spread. So this is hopefully going to be a fun way to practice these types of problems in a moderately fast paced setting. Again, once you start to get the hang of this, this becomes quite easy, but 
Uh, again, I would like to eventually release difficulties based on the feedback that I receive from all of you. But I hope you enjoy it. I will leave again all of the code for this app in the description below, along with a link to it if you'd like to go ahead and play the game. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.